Well, truth be told, we were partly to blame for it. Nate Robertson was wearing a mic on television. We should have known what we were in for amid the odd twists and turns of that summer 10 years ago when the Tigers won their way to the World Series. A fad took on a life of its own. Nate decided to give the people at home a little something and launched the rally to it actually worked and gum time was born now we're going to talk about gum time with our friend nate robertson but he actually had a really good year you won 13 games for that <laughs> for that tigers team so so we're, we're saying that there are contributions besides what you could fit in your face yes. on that on that one rather momentous evening when you look back at 2006 gum time in a second what are your memories well, you know, it was uh, obviously coming off 12 losing seasons uh, in Detroit um, for the organization and, and just uh, a, kind of a rebirth of baseball here. And so it was, it was a special year in so many different ways, but it, uh, it put us back on the map, and, you know, that's what's expected here now. And you knew coming out of spring training, all right, we might have something here. Yeah, we. I mean, the, the the talent was there. It was just it was just a matter of how you put it all together and get these guys to to work together and to believe in themselves and to really get to each and every guy to perform at their uh, top potential. And that's what happened. All right, you had been here. They went out and added Kenny Rogers, who was a very nice piece, perhaps underrated at the time. The importance of Kenny Rogers, and then you had Verlander and Zamaya making their big splashes in their rookie year. Yeah, the veteran influx along with the young players just meshed so well, and you know we had we had some big brothers on the team uh, for the pitchers Kenny Rogers and Todd Jones were terrific um, can't forget about uh, Jamie Walker but uh, the, you know, the position cat. players the cast right man you know and having and Mags and, and Pudge and Polanco it was just it was just a great mix of guys and Leland's touch was equally important yeah he was kind of the glue you know he just got guys I mean he communicated so well with the players and it just got us to really want to play for the guy and, and uh, and it just it worked. It worked well. Was that the highest leap you'd ever had when you leaped over, leapt over the uh, the dugout after Maglio's homer left the yard in the uh, yeah, ALCS? That was, that was all kind of a blur. But I mean, I remember just all of us kind of embracing that moment, and 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 really, we just tried to get as close as we possibly could when when he hit that home run. We were all there at home plate together, and guys were just just getting as tight <laughs> as we possibly could, and and uh, just enjoying the moment as a team. All right, and of course, uh, unfortunately. It didn't work out so well for you in the World Series because there was that gap before you had a chance to play another game and you really couldn't maintain that edge that you needed. Yeah, it was it was it was strange. Uh, it was and everybody always tried to figure out why and, and you know all the the hows and the I mean what could have been but um, we had a special season and that was that I think that the, 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 the great memories of 06 well, that's what will never leave sure. anybody and it wasn't the way that we didn't come up with a championship at the end but it was the season that made it special again here in Detroit. All right now gum time. I mean <laughs> it, it, it has followed you. I know everybody remembers it. It made you a rock star in this town. Mario and Pemba I guess played a played a role in uh, tagging you with this thing. Yeah I, th I mean I think he I mean I, I guess I said gum time. I don't know. I mean. You know, it was just uh, it was a it was a, a little league thing. It was <laughs> that we did for a rally. I threw in some gum. I told the guys, here it comes. TV magic. He had the audio. He obviously had the face to go with it. <laughs> and uh, so Look I started. <laughs> I know it's terrible. <laughs> and, and by the way, I got all fake teeth now because of that year. <laughs> but um, the, you know, it was just a it was a great moment, and, and the fans embraced it. And it was it was really the fans' rally cry. It's always great to see you. Great seeing you, brother. The great Nate Robertson. Todd Jones, by the way.